Can you imagine an Armenian Catholicus whose one million and half faithful have been victim of a genocide organized and executed <coughs> by the Ottoman Turkish governments of the time, inviting a Turk professor to speak about genocides in a place which came into existence due to Armenian genocide. A place where the Armenian martyrs are living reality through their relics and sacred legacy. What a contradiction. Can we imagine in the midst of denial and negativism, rejectionism and threat, a Turk intellectual rises up to raise with the sense of responsibility and accountability the question of Armenian genocide and calls with courage its recognition. Again, what a contradiction. I believe in creative contradictions. Such contradictions challenge as he did the prevailing stereotypes and uh, generates uh, new perceptions, provides new space for interaction. History has two dimensions, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal dimension is the chain of events, but through vertical dimension, through these creative contradictions, extraordinary events, that history is acquired, its true meaning, and the right course. We need people like Dr. Adam Achan, who has the guts to say the truth and to call for his own people to stand up and to reconcile with its own past. I believe that tonight was a unique opportunity for all of us not only to hear him but also to hear new perspectives, uh, new dimensions, uh, new avenues that are open before us. And we need this. I believe that one of the basic questions that he raised remains a, a crucial one, namely the interconnectedness of human rights and national security concepts. I believe that it's heresy, it's a political and moral heresy to create ambiguities, polarization or divorce between these two dimensions which are so closely interconnected. Human rights, you said it morality, but I would say human rights and national security. I believe that that is not the issue. The challenge for Turks, for us, for all people today, is to develop new concept of national security. 
to develop the new perception of your rights. In other words, today your rights cannot be at the expense of my rights. We have to develop the perception of common rights. Your security is my security. And today in this globalized world, I believe that this perception of common security, of common human rights, need to be developed. And I believe that this is very important, particularly in respect to the Armenian genocide and to all these issues that we just raised within the context of national security. But as a conclusion of this evening, I would like just to underscore a few points as a reminder, which I believe are